Welcome back. I'm Brian Hackney, and we're on a point A to B road trip from Castro Valley to the Altamont Pass, and we're taking a detour on what is truly a little-known picturesque country road, Palomares Road, and I just drove by something very peculiar. What is that? Oh my gosh, fathers, I, I come as a former altar boy. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Brian. Thank you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. What, what is this? Well, you're basically on the frontiers of paradise here at Holy Cross Monastery. And are, are you three the total inhabitants? Are there more? Yes, there's just three monks. We're, we're open to more, but it's a big commitment. And uh, there's, in this day and age, it's not easy for someone to commit their whole life. It's amazing. These three men, Father Micah, Father Peter, and Father Stephen, have chosen to spend their lives in this tranquil place, away from the hustle and bustle of urban life. It doesn't take long to see the allure. We say our prayers several times a day here in a monastic tradition. Do you have people just like I did, wandering in off the street? Well, the monastery is a very peaceful and quiet place. And we request that when people do want to come to visit, they either come for our public liturgy. We're more than happy to receive people but we would appreciate our regular quietude of the monastery not being disturbed. What's the goal of a contemplative life? For a monastic, once you know who God is, there's nothing else. Everything else is dust. But you have to look at it like a sanctuary. Just like there's a wildlife sanctuary to protect endangered species, well, monks and nuns are endangered species. And these are habitats where they're safe to not have anything, to have nothing of their own, to not have their own life, but to give everything to God. Go. Those are the children of the monastery. Those are the children yeah, of the monastery, yes. why? Well, because we actually planted these 30 years ago. People will ask, how long have you been here? I turn to the children. And I say, well, you see those redwood trees? And they say, yes. And I say, well, we've been here that long. And they look at me and they say, you must be really old. <laughs> I said, I am. People may think of monks and the monastic life as being anti-technology, but in fact, you've got email. And well, we've built our own website many years ago in the late 90s. And uh, we haven't had much time to keep it up, but it's still there. Uh -huh. And uh, we do have email. And you designed your own web page. Yes, we did. Huh? The monks are truly devoted to the land. They don't even leave to get food. They rely on donations from visitors. Uh -huh. It's a challenge and it requires uh, imagination as well as uh, uh, a knowledge of nutrition. And, but we're, we're able to, to stay away from going to stores. Yeah. And we try to do that with great diligence. You do? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we try to stay here as much as possible. Well, I know that us just popping in on your uh, sedentary life here was not an easy thing for you to do. So we're very, we're very honored. Bye, fathers. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.